Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is Ikra Hafiz and you're watching Desi TV USA. Let's have a look at the news. Prime Minister Mohammad Shehbaz Sharif received high-level delegation from Uzbekistan led by Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Trade HE in Islamabad. Recalling his recent meeting with Uzbek President H.E. Shavkat Mizoyev on the sideline of SCO summit held in Samarkand and September and the 6th CICA summit held in Astana, Kazakhstan in October 2022. The Prime Minister reaffirmed Pakistan's resolve to further enhance the existing excellent relationship between the two brotherly countries. The Prime Minister said Pakistan offers connectivity to Central Asia through roads and railways. He hoped that the connectivity projects in the region will not only bring the trade communities together, but also usher in a new era of peace and prosperity for the two countries and the region. The delegation apprised the Prime Minister about their meeting with Economic Ministries of Pakistan, during which it was agreed to enhance economic and trade ties between the two countries. The visiting dignitary also believed the Prime Minister about the discussions between the business group of Pakistan and Uzbekistan in various fields. Prime Minister appreciated that fruitful discussion between business community to establish B2B contacts would enhance bilateral trade and investment. Many Afghan families with 2.8 million Afghan refugees in Pakistan are suffering from difficult conditions. Day by day increasing inflation and difficult economic conditions have forced them to send their innocent children to work in every vegetable market and commercial place instead of educating them. Farmers in southwest China's Yunnan province use a small train to transport vegetables more quickly and conveniently. China will cancel inbound quarantine for international arrivals from Jan 8. Travelers with negative test result 48 hours before departure can enter China without applying for green health card. The Islamabad High Court has ordered the temporary handover of the two children to their mothers in the child extradition case filed by two Polish women against their ex-Pakistani husband. In the case of extradition of children filed by two Polish women against their ex-Pakistani husband, the Islamabad High Court on Tuesday ordered the temporary handover of the two children to their mother. A video has been uploaded on the Twitter handle of Fakdu Tahrik in which people can be seen protesting and gunshots can be heard. Balochistan Chief Minister Mir Abdul Qudus Bezinjo and Provincial Interior Minister Mir Ziaullah Longo have blamed the killing of a policeman on the angry protesters of Fakdu Tahrik and condemned the loss of life of the policeman. Against the ban on higher education of Afghan women, there has been a negative reaction not only from the outside world but also at the internal level. The recent decision by the Afghan Taliban to ban women's higher education is being criticized around the world. Not only Western countries call this decision a violation of basic human rights, but also Muslim countries including Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Turkey, Iran and Pakistan have also condemned this decision. China will always stand by Pakistan, says Ambassador Nong Rong during a meeting with Minister for Finance and Revenue Isaac Dar in Islamabad. Chinese Ambassador to Pakistan Nong Rong appreciated the policy initiatives being taken by Pakistan for sustaining and boosting its fiscal and monetary stability. He also assured continuous support of Chinese government to Pakistan and said China always has and will continue to stand with Pakistan and will provide all kinds of assistance. That's all for now. For more updates, keep watching Desi TV USA or visit our website desitvusa.com.